Hello everyone, my name is Paul and I just purchased a 97 Nissan truck. It's in pretty good shape, got it for a good price. I used to own a 93 that I bought brand new and I tell you what, these are some of the best little pickups you could ever own. My 93, I put over 300,000 miles on it and I'm kicking myself in the butt for selling it. But I redeemed myself and bought me a 97 and it looks like it's been maintained pretty good. It's got a new battery. It's got new tires on it. Brakes are in good shape. It's got nice wheels. But a common problem that occurs on these vehicles that a lot of people miss is a, is a high idle problem. And generally it's usually your throttle body. If you look inside the throttle body, this plate right here gets all clogged up with dirt. And then you got your uh, your idle air control motor assembly on the side. Make sure it's plugged in. And then you got your TPS, and on the other side, your map sensor. Now, sometimes this gets all clogged up with dirt and grime, so you want to clean that out. And then, you know, clean it all inside here. And there's a small hole on the side. You want to clean out it goes inside your IAC motor and clean that out real good you can do it while the engines running just make sure you keep your rpms up and just spray some in there and that'll help clean out your IAC motor but there's a problem that a lot of people miss and that's a problem with your cooling system the cooling hoses run down through the throttle body and around and sometimes when people fill up their cooling system they don't bleed the air out of the cooling system and I'm going to show you where to find the bleeder valve for your cooling system. And if you look here on your cap, what you want to do is when you take your cap off, like that. And as you're filling it up, what you want to do is you want to go over here and get you a 10 millimeter socket, a long extension. And if you look here, here's your sending unit right here. That's for your gauge on the dash. And then that is your coolant temperature sensor. That sends a, vol a voltage to your computer to tell you what the temperature is on the engine. So if you've got air in your cooling system, you're not going to get a proper reading off of this sensor. And the engine is going to think it's still cold. Which is going to kick your idle speed up. And it's going to uh, increase your fuel mileage too. Because now you've got a high idle and it's burning more fuel. Because the computer is thinking that it's, the engine's still cold. So what we're going to do is when you're filling your cooling system up is to loosen up that nut right there and bleed the air out of your cooling system. And I'm going to show you how to do it and show you what to look for. Alright, what you want to do is you want to get you a ratchet and your 10 millimeter socket on there. And you want to, as you're pulling the cooling system up, you want to look for coolant coming out. You just want to turn it until you see coolant dripping out. If you see coolant coming out, I'll show you here. Get that nut off of there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but let me change hands real quick. Get down in there. Let me show you here. And as you're filling it up, you should see coolant dripping out of this line, out of this fitting right here. And once you see coolant start pouring out, you're gonna know all the air is purged out of the system. Get out, see, then you got coolant coming out. And once you see coolant coming out, go ahead and tighten up your bolt and then continue filling up your system. That way you know all the air is purged out of your cooling system because that really affects how it runs. And that's just a little tidbit of information for you when you're trying to diagnose a problem with the idle problem on these Nissans. And it's pretty much any Nissan with a 2.4 liter like this one has. Uh, most of them with a throttle body that have coolant lines running through the throttle body. And as you see, the uh, where you fill it up at is higher than the bleeder valve. So as you're filling it, the coolant level is going to rise up. And it's going to push all the air out of that little valve right there. So if you do that, you'll know that uh, that's not going to be the cause of your idle problem. Thanks for watching.